SDI Fox Balancing Method Construction Animation Quit Jaber Causeway Project. Stage 1 Lifting and Transporting the Concrete Beam. The ventral lift of straddle carrier side shift right above the box beam to be lifted, lower and install the lifting frames. Two pairs of ventrolates lift both beam up and side shift to the main span of thread carriers synchronously. The thread carriers lifting and carrying the both beam move to the area for steering. Stretch half the spur cylinders onto the ground to reduce wheel loads. Rotate all wheel groups 90 degrees and retract spur cylinders from the ground. The transporter runs to the place right below the box beam lifted by the straddle carriers. The straddle carriers lower the box beam slowly and synchronously onto the transporter, release and withdraw the lifting frames from the box beam. The transporter carrying the box beam passes through the temporary road to the reloading and transforming area near bridge end. Wheel groups of the transporter are designed with independent steering devices, thus can conduct multi-direction steering. The box beam loading seats are set with horizontally turning devices to help the transporter loading the box beam pass easily through the curved road with relatively small radius. The transporter loading the box beam enters the underneath of the straddle carriers, which used for reloading and transferring the box beams at the bridge end. Lower and install the lifting frames of the straddle carriers to the box beam. The straddle carriers lift up the box beam synchronously, meanwhile the transporter returns to the beam yard. The transporter carrier runs into the bottom of the straddle carriers. The straddle carriers lower and lay the box beam synchronously onto the transporter carrier, release and withdraw the lifting frames from the box beam. The transporter carrier loading the box beam runs onto the bridge deck through the roadbed. Stage 2 Erection of the Concrete Beam the transport carrier loading the concrete beam moves to the rear end of the launching girder and passes through number 4 leg of the launching girder with low speed. Rotate the front cap of the transport carrier 90 degrees when approaching to the number 3 leg. Transport carrier stops in place. The auxiliary legs of the front carriers extend laterally and support onto bridge deck. The rear carriers and the front trolleys loading the concrete beam moves forward 11.5 meters synchronously. The auxiliary legs of the rear carriers extend laterally and spurred onto bridge deck. Engage the number 4 leg of the launching girder onto the main frames of the rear carriers and retract the support cylinder of the number 4 leg. Next, lifting frames to the concrete beam, and two inch trolley lifts the concrete beam about 1.5 meters up synchronously. 
fluent shortlets lifting the concrete beam move forward synchronously 63.4 meters to the preset position. Support the number 4 leg of the launching girder onto bridge deck and get off from the transporter carrier. Retract all auxiliary legs of the transporter carrier and the transporter carrier returns to the beam yard. Two-inch trolleys lowers concrete beam 8.5 meters and stops synchronously. Two-inch trolleys move sideways 9.5 meters and lays concrete beam onto pier C synchronously. Repeat above operation procedures to erect the second piece of the concrete beam of the span. The launching girder is ready to launch forward to erect the next band. Stage 3 Launching Forward Anchor and lock the empress day bar of the rear wind trolley with the number 3 leg. Lay rails for the number 4 leg, and the main girder is ready to launch forward. Start running gear of the ventrolis to drive the main girder launching forward 60 meters in place. Extend the cylinders of the number one leg and engage onto the front pair cable. Release the bar between the rear wing trolley and the number 3 leg. Extend and engage the cylinders of the number 4 leg onto bridge deck. Retry the number 3 leg. Then the number 3 legs to spin on main girder moves forward 60 meters in place. Extend cylinders of the number 3 leg and anchor to the erected deck. Release the anchor bolts of number 2 leg. Check up cylinders of the number 3 leg to get the number 2 leg off and suspending on the main girder. The number 2 leg suspending on the main girder moves forward 60 meters in place. Remove the safety anchor ears of number one leg cylinders. The number two leg supports an anchor to the pair keep. Retract the number one leg. The launching girder finishes the launching operation.